friends, Ashley here. So I've heard from many of you that the dashboard planner from the Happy Planner is an intimidating layout. And listen, I totally understand because it was for me too when I first started in this layout. I did not have a clue <laughs> how to use it, how to decorate it, what it was for. It kind of felt like it was a little bit too much, but I really wanted to use it. So I stuck with it and I figured it out. It took me a hot minute, but I did figure it out. And I figured out my own planning style with this planner. And I know that if you use it, you'll be able to figure out your style too. But in this video, I want to talk to you about how to use the dashboard layout and how to decorate it and how to pull both of those things together and create your own planning system. Okay, first let's talk about how to use the planner because once you figure out how you're going to use it, decorating it and making it functional becomes so much easier. The first thing is to decide what you're gonna use it for. For me, I'm currently using this one for social media. We can see here, but I have used it as a catch-all before. This was a mini dashboard layout that I had that was a catch-all. I really love this one. I love the mini. It's, uh, didn't plan that week. It's super cute, really functional. You can put a lot of information inside of one little old spread. So I've used it as my cash all planner before. I've also used it in nursing school. This, listen, if you're in nursing school and you watch my videos, this layout is the layout that you need. Actually, if you're in college period, I would say that this is the best layout because you have room for every class and you have plenty of room to write in what you need to study and exams and all that stuff. So I have used this in nursing before. It helped me tremendously. I've used a mini in nursing school and I also used a classic whenever I was in nursing school. So I really love this planner. It's a fantastic planner, but I know that when you're just getting started, it can be a little bit intimidating. So once you figure out what you're going to use the planner for, next you're going to figure out what you're going to use each section for. So let me go here to a blank page. So if we look here, there are tons of different sections. So you have this one up here that says errands. This one says to buy. This one says calls, emails. This one says bills to pay. Bills to pay. Down here you have focus. This one up here in this planner is blank. Sometimes they'll say, um, what does it say? Meals or something like that or dinner plans or something. And then you have each day of the week. So there's a lot of different sections inside of this planner. Now, when I use this right now for my social media planner, I will show you really quickly. Let me go to a week that doesn't have the divider in it. If we look here, this was the week of Christmas. And the way that I use this for social media, I retitle these sections over here. And so for this one, I have YouTube. And this is where I write out what YouTube videos are going to be posted on what day. This one says get it done. This is a general checklist of things that I need to do that are not day specific. And then typically for me, this entire section down here is a place for me to just decorate and have fun, but the rest of it is really functional. You can see here I've decorated it. Now I did use stickers here to make it super functional. I have stickers here. This week I just decorated it. So that's totally optional. Now if you need more space and you're like, these two sections up here are not enough, you could definitely use the sections here for something else. Like this week, I put a box sticker here and then I also put a shopping list down here. Even though this is my social media planner, I normally don't have shopping lists, but I did have to get some stuff for a few giveaways that I had, so I had to have a shopping list here. But same thing, I just retitled this for YouTube. I retitled this one as my to-do list. Now, if this is your catch-all planner, let me show you. This one looks a little bit different because the, um, this over here goes all the way down, but most of the dashboard planners are like this one. But this one, I just put little stickers over it that say, don't forget, this was a grocery list that I didn't fill out. This was a cleaning schedule. This one I put over here, it says give thanks, and I just made a, great, a gratitude list for the day, or for the week, I mean, sorry. So I made a gratitude list for the week. This was a general to-do list. I had errands inside of a box sticker. And then for December, this was memories. So I turned this into a memory section. This, it says white Christmas, but this was just a general to-do list. And sometimes I use stickers like that that don't match up to what I'm writing down, but I just think they're cute and they're fun and they match the spread. So I'll use stickers like that sometimes. This one says Santa Claus is coming. And so these were things that I needed to do for Christmas. 
So you can just section this up into what you need to use each section for. And what I recommend doing is sitting down and writing out what you're gonna use this planner for. Is it gonna be, maybe for you it's like me, it's a social media planner. Maybe it's going to be a academic planner and this is what you use for college um, or high school or whatever. Maybe for you it's your catch-all. So this is kind of like your main central hub. This could be a fitness planner, a meal planner. There are so many different options with this one, but if you sit down and literally can take like 10, 15 minutes just to figure out how you're gonna use this, it's going to make decorating it and planning in it and figuring out your planning style so, so, so much easier. Now with this section up here, this one is labeled Monday through Sunday. I used to write YouTube videos and when they would post up here, but I actually like decorating this. So you can see here, right here, you can see I always end up decorating this and I like this better. Um, it just gives me a way to add more decorative stickers into my planner. You can totally decorate it. You can use it for your dinner plans. Maybe if you're using this for school, it can be when you have exams or um, like if you had clinicals, if you're in nursing school or exams, quizzes, assignments to do, you could totally do that up there. You could put you and um, maybe your spouse's schedules so you know like if somebody's working when or if you need to run errands on certain days, you can put your work schedule up there. So many different options with that little section up there, but just kind of decide before you start planning inside of this planner what you're gonna use that section for. Now when it comes to the Monday through Sunday, I recommend over here writing down day specific things. So let's say on Monday you have an appointment. That's where I recommend writing it down at. You don't wanna write your appointment for Monday, write it over here somewhere. I mean, you totally can. That's not, like there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. But for me and the way my brain works, if I have a road down on Monday, it's due for Monday. And I need to focus on getting those tasks done before all of these other checklists, if that makes sense. So I recommend putting day specific tasks over here. You could also put your work schedule here. If you're in school, your assignments and different things can go here. And maybe you can have like a study schedule up here. Um, if this is your catch all, like I said, you can have your work schedule here, dinner plans up here, maybe things you need to do for your kiddos over here, a general to-do list. This might be a grocery list, an errands list. Maybe down here you could use this for goals. You could use this for habit tracking. You can use it just to decorate it like I've done. Okay, once you know what you're using the planner for and you know what you're gonna use each section for, I recommend pre-planning because it helps with knowing what stickers to put where, but also it can help with reducing the overwhelm. And here's how. When you pre-plan, you'll be able to see what you have going on in each day and how much you've planned for that day. So pre-planning is gonna help you realistically plan for the day and not overwhelm yourself with a ton of to-dos. I don't know about you, but for me, when I get overwhelmed, I don't wanna do anything. Is the same true for you? Like whenever you feel like you have so much going on, you're like, I need a nap. <laughs> so then you end up taking a nap because it's just too much. And so whenever you pre-plan, you can see, okay, Monday, I have like 25 things wrote down to do. I need to move some of these. So then you can start seeing like, okay, on Thursday, I can move some of those tasks to Thursday because I don't have as much going on or you know you can start to move things around now I know that there are some things that cannot be moved and they have to be done that day for example work you can't just be like boss man I have a busy schedule today I cannot come into work I have too many things to do like I understand that you know you do have set schedules uh, for different parts of your life but whenever you see that okay I'm working today and I don't get off till five o'clock and um, I have like 15 things that I need to get done, that's whenever you can start to see like, okay, that's too much. I'm gonna get really overwhelmed. Things are gonna sidetrack me, especially if you're a mom, you have kids, maybe you have a side business, you might get distracted, you might get thrown off course, and then you feel bad because you haven't completed all the tasks that you planned for the day. And then you just get behind day after day after day, right? So pre-planning is gonna help you see Okay, I have too much planned for Tuesday, but I don't have hardly anything for Wednesday, so maybe I can move some of those tasks over. But it also helps so you can see where you're gonna put stickers. And you'll be able to tell if you need to plan with stickers more functionally for the week, or if you can plan more decoratively. So for some weeks, like this one, there wasn't a ton going on, so I was able to use a little bit more stickers here inside of the daily daily um, sections over here. 
And this is where I ended up planning a little more functionally here because I needed a section for a shopping list and I also needed a sticker here. But then there's weeks that I can decorate this whole entire section and I don't need it. Now, yes, there's been weeks too that I don't decorate, decorate this and I will end up writing things in. But for the most part, whenever you pre-plan, it's going to show you what all you have going on during the day and if you need to move tasks around. Now, like here you can see Wednesday, I didn't post anything. I didn't do anything on Wednesday. I honestly don't know why. If I had to guess, I probably had a migraine and that's why I didn't complete anything that day. But this is a great example. So say, let's just pretend like this is my pre-planning page, even though it's not. I'll show you how I pre-plan here in just a second. But um, let's say this is my pre-planning page. Well, I can see that on Tuesday, look at this, I have take photos, um, I need to edit a video, I need to do a voiceover, upload that video, and post it. So I'm editing two videos, I'm taking photos, posting to Instagram. So then I could say, okay, wait a minute, can I maybe take photos on Wednesday? Or do I have to take them Tuesday? Or can I edit this video on Wednesday instead of editing two videos on Tuesday? Does that make sense? So then you can kind of see. Now let me show you really quickly. I am in between on my pre-planning process. I used to use inserts from the Happy Planner, but I started recently using this monthly section of my hourly planner. So, oh, that's not the hourly planner. Here it is. This is my hourly planner. This is where I block schedule my day. And I have been using the uh, monthly section to pre-plan my week. I'm not 100% for sure that I'm going to stay with this system right now, but I am going to try it for the month of January. But anyways, this is where I started writing out the things that I need to get done each day of the week. And then I went back in with a highlighter and I highlighted the most important for those days. So I could set up my uh, priorities for the day. But pre-planning helps so, so much. And then once you pre-plan your week... Now it's time to play with stickers. And I recommend before you sit down and start using stickers, pick out which sticker books you're going to use ahead of time. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go pick out a couple of different sticker books and then I'm gonna show you how I decorate this and why I put different stickers where. Okay, I chose to use the Biz Babe sticker book and then also I picked out Squad Goals. And I have the Squad Goals, this one is um, regular size and this one is the mini so I do have both of those but those are the stickers that I'm going to use and we're going to take these pages out and we will start planning all right so I ended up getting a phone call and I had to take a little break and while I took a break I took some sticky notes and I marked off what stickers I was going to use while I was talking to my mama. So I planned out what stickers we're going to use and we're going to start with this quote sticker. I've been wanting to use this one for a while. It says the key to success is to start before you're ready and that's by Marie Forleo. So we are going to use that one and I think it is going to look fantastic right up here. Now remember this section here for me is what I use like I just decorate it but if you want to use this section for your dinner plans, your work schedule. Um, you can even put your workout schedule there. Uh, any assignments, do or anything, just take note of that. And maybe you could do like a smaller sticker up top and like a smaller one. But for me, I normally just decorate this entire little box up here. And then the other thing that I chose is these stickers here. These are little flag stickers. And I'm gonna put one of these down for each day of the week. And this is where I will note what I am posting to Instagram. And I always like to mark what I'm posting with some type of like flag sticker, an icon sticker or something. So it's quick and easy for me. Um, whenever I hop in here, I can just hop in and I know exactly what I'm looking for. And I try to put it in the same, um, right up on the first line every time and it just makes it quick and easy. I love the colors in this Biz Babe sticker book. These are so stinking cute. Okay, so that'll note my Instagram each day of the week and if you wanted to maybe decorate this up here like I have and use a flag sticker some kind of icon sticker maybe for your work schedule or maybe you could do this for a cleaning schedule each day it could be 
um, a flag sticker or a box sticker or something like that whenever you have an exam or a quiz or an appointment or something like that or a meeting. You could always note like those important tasks with some type of sticker that's functional but also cute. Like these flag stickers, they're really functional stickers but they're super cute and they add just a pop of color to this side of the page. And then from there, I seen these cute little box stickers here. They're not empty box stickers, they have the titles in them, but I thought about using this one here that says big ideas. I'm gonna use that to note YouTube. Sometimes I put a box that doesn't, just like a plain box sticker that doesn't have a title in it up here and then I write YouTube in it. But for this week, I'm gonna put this one down. It says big ideas. I know what it means because again, I've worked on my planning style and routine inside of this planner so much that I know where everything goes and it just makes it so much easier to decorate it. And that's what I was saying, the more you use it, the easier it gets. It's just in the beginning, it's a little a little tricky to use. And then I also seen this one um, that says focus on, and I'm gonna use that over here as a general to-do list. Again, these are just things for me that I can do any day of the week. Um, I also thought too, if you have kiddos and they have a lot of activities that they're doing, you could always have um, like a section here for a child, one here for a child, or if this was me and I had, um, if my son was in a lot of different activities, I would have like this box here would be for him. And then maybe like a to-do list and a grocery list and kind of organize it that way. So there's those two stickers. And then I may use another one of these quote ones, but first I want to kind of decorate a little bit with these stickers. So on Mondays, I am a health and fitness coach and on Mondays we have our team call and I really want to use one of these little coffee mugs to note that. So we're gonna put the coffee mug right there. And then right out beside of that, I'll write out team call. I think I'm gonna use another quote sticker down here. I ha Listen, I've been wanting to use all these quote stickers, but I'll be honest, I love them so much that I kinda wanna hoard them. <laughs> um, I thought about doing this one that says think bigger and then maybe getting a couple of box stickers and I can put my goals down for the week. So if I do this with this think bigger one. Okay, so here's my thought process right now. If I put this sticker down right here, I still need to cover up this that says focus. And I could put this here and if I did box stickers for my goals for the week, if I put a box sticker up here, I feel like it's a little too close. Actually, let me do it this way. In with the sticker book. In this mini sticker book, the squad, um, squad goals, I was going to use these two and like this sticker and a different one to layer. So let's actually start with those ones and we'll see what happens. And see for me, this section, this whole entire section down here is kind of my area to play in in my planner. I can kind of decorate it, make it cute. This time I'm going to make it a little bit more functional with having my goals for the week down here. So we can do this one. No, that's crooked. <laughs> we don't like crooked stickers. A little bit of layering there. And then if I took this one, put it down here in this corner, like so. And then I need another sticker to go upwards here, but I don't wanna use these ones because they have the gold foiling on them. Oh, here's some more. These will work out great. What color do I want? I really like this blue one. This is Boss Babe. Oh no, it's ripping. And then this one will layer opposite. So if I look here, I did one, two, three, four boxes. One, one, two, three, four. So we'll put it here just to make it even even though this one did not go up as high as that did. So that didn't make it even, did it? <laughs> but then if I take the Think Bigger 
and I did something like this, I think that would look really cute. But now what I'm thinking about is how am I gonna cover up where it says calls and emails and bills to pay? Because I do not use those two sections for that. So I'm thinking inside of here there are some, there's some washi strips in here that I could use. Let me flip through this one really quickly and I'll see if there's something else I can come up with to put there to cover those two sections up. All right, here's what I'm gonna do, I think. I found this cute decorative giant box sticker and I think I'm gonna move these two over some and then I'm gonna lay this in between those two. So let's start with that and then I have an idea for what I can do up there. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this villain in I wanna dry up a two Just keep on going, don't you? Okay, so that fits without me having to move both of those stickers. And I'm gonna try to kind of line it up here. In the center, and that's gonna be crooked. All right, so there's the bottom section. And then what I thought about doing, which I don't know if this is gonna look right or not, thought about taking some of these um, like coffee cups and the glasses and like doing a strip of those across there and then doing this one in between. Oh, I don't know, I can't decide. I can't decide, let's try it. The bad thing about trying this with the clear stickers is that I think it'll look fine. Let's just go for it. See, this is what you have to do sometimes. You just have to try it, see what happens. And listen, I'll be honest, I have spreads that I don't like. And I'm like, well, we only got to look at it for seven days, so that's a plus, right? It's not permanent. We're going to do this. I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay, and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose, chasing all that surplus. You were all that I... Okay, I kind of like it. I think it turned out really cute. And that covered up those two sections. I will put two big goals for the week here. This will be for YouTube general ideas list. And then what I'm going to do over here is we're going to add a little bit more um, kind of decorative stickers to it. I'm telling you, the Squad Goals sticker book, you can never go wrong with it. That and florals. If you're ever stuck, seriously, try florals or try Squad Goals. For some reason, those are like the two sticker books that no matter what, it works out. You always end up with something really cute and it's kind of easy to just grab those two sticker books. So that's, that's a little random tip for you. See, those are cute. And then... There are some smaller ones, so we are going to take her. We're going to put her here. And then I really like this one, and we're going to put this one right up here. And then there's some really cute glasses that we can also throw down here and there. Just as little little decor here and there there's these cute little mugs I can pop a mug down for a few days just to decorate and then I'm going to add a couple of box stickers to a few days of the week and I'll show you that and why I'm doing it all right so for box stickers I'm going to use the ones inside of the biz babe sticker book these blue ones right here are really pretty so we're gonna use those. I'm gonna put one down for Tuesday because I will be filming on Tuesday and I wanna note that. And that's gonna be kind of the main priority for Tuesday. And then Saturday and Sunday, 
let's do, I'm going to do a blue one on, let's put it over here on Sunday. Now this one is where I will write out to plan for the week. And I usually do this on Saturday or Sunday. It doesn't matter which day. Most of the time it ends up on Sunday anyways, but sometimes I do just write it down on Saturday. And that way I know I need to plan for like what YouTube videos I'm doing, what I'm filming, um, what photos I have to take, and just kind of getting my planner set up and ready to go for the week. So that's what that box is for. And I think I kind of wanted to add a few checklist stickers, but I think it might be a little too much. It would be cute with something across here, maybe like this to tie it in. So let's try that really quickly. Okay, that is going to be my spread. Now remember, step number one was to decide what you're going to use the dashboard layout for. How are you going to use it? Step number two is decide what you're going to use each section for. So then that way you have a game plan. You know what is going to go where. You know um, how to kind of section everything out and what to put where, which is what I just said. Step number three is to pre-plan your week. And that way you know, like I know here I need to have a box sticker. I need to know here I have a box sticker. I need that my flags every single day. And I know kind of what I'm going to put down here. And then I can decorate some. And I know what sections are going to be what and what's going to go where. So pre-planning your week is step number four. And step number five is to pull out the stickers and have fun and use that pre-planning sheet as you are planning or laying down your stickers and decorating your planner. Listen, if you ever feel like you are stuck with the dashboard layout though, please, please, please message me. I am happy to help. You can comment here on YouTube. You can message me over on Instagram. Either way, it works totally fine for me. I want your planner to work for you. And I know that sometimes having someone kind of guide you and help you get started really helps you figure out your planning style. Even if you, even if I tell you like, hey, do it this way. And you're like, that doesn't work for me. That's not a bad thing. That's actually a really good thing because now you know what not to do and I've had a lot of those things happen inside of my planner where I'm like nope don't do that again that that didn't turn out cute and that or I didn't like the way that that turned out or that just doesn't work for me functionally so it's not always a bad thing to do something in your planner and then decide that you don't like it but again please reach out if you ever feel stuck and not just with the dashboard layout I mean that goes for any layout I'm not a I don't consider myself an expert at every layout but I do have tips for each one of the layouts that may help you uh, move forward and learn your own planning style. And listen, my friend, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Have an incredible day, and I will see you in the next video.